So uh, the talk I just gave now was about the scenario process that we did in, in Denmark uh, the first half of this year, 2017, uh, because there are several challenges and uh, we, uh, we gathered 29 major partners or major stakeholders in the Danish system to work with uh, what might be or what are the biggest challenges and opportunities in Denmark. And the way that we work with the Copenhagen Institute is with scenario buildings is that we find the certainties and uncertainties that we map and then we uh, we with uh, with uh, the stakeholders we then uh, create uh, four realistic future scenarios on how health could look depending on which decisions we take or which path on, on health we we decide to go for so that's a mix of what what this policy public uh, politics what happens in the parliament uh, it's also pressure from the outside and then of course also we'll patients' organizations and what the life science business does. We don't do predictions. We do likely scenarios. That's why we never are wrong, which is quite good, right? Uh, but what we can see is that uh, that uh, a big part of, of the actors, the partners that we had in the process, they're actually using this. So what it does is that it highlights for you where the crucial decisions are and what the consequences are if you do one or the other thing or just do nothing because that's also a decision. It helps that uh, you can prepare for uh, for the future. So so and this is this is why we don't do the prediction because we don't know what the future brings, but we can identify what it likely could bring and then you prepare for those different things and you know how to act when those things occur. A specific example, yeah, I mean, you could have uh, Brexit, that could be one thing, so you, so you prepare for it, but that was, that was something that, uh, that was very clearly a yes or a no, so you could prepare very well for what, what do you do if it was a, a opt-in and what do you do if it's an opt-out, and you can clearly see that nobody in Europe prepared for what happened, and neither did UK, <laughs> you could say. So uh, this is not a, a talk with a conclusion, but it's more a focus on which drivers are important. And, and what you can say is very important in, in this part is that we have a paradigm shift, but we are trying to solve uh, the tasks, the challenges and, and realize the opportunities we have and the frames that we have in today's world. And that will probably not work because uh, we have a health systems in Northern Europe that is a hundred years old. It's not really made for, for the dynamics and the new tools and the new opportunities that we have. Uh, so, so th and this is the driver for why we do the scenario processes because there's a paradigm shift and we want to give some tools to work with so we actually can handle and do this uh, in the best way both for the citizens but of course also for the society and businesses.